again. Welcome back, Nomis, to a new fishing with Pom and Crow. We just figured out that uh, Pom is has a really talent for fishing up um, like dishes and stuff like that. So we were thinking to get like you know a full dining set just by you know fishing. Just by fishing. <laughs> Yep, got a set of three bowls now, hoping to get some forks and knives. And perhaps a, a chafing dish would be good. <laughs> Did get a, a bow out of that. Look at that. Unbreaking three and power four. Ooh, I tell you, this fishing for loot is, is, is my new jam. It's actually worthwhile. Yeah, totally. It, it takes some time, but it, eventually... Um... You get stuff that you can't really like. Um, you must be very, very lucky to find it. Like, as it got it, to get it as a drop from um, from a mob. They do exist though, like the highly yeah. level bows and stuff. But sure, it's yeah. really, really rare. And I think this is actually quicker. Yeah, this seems more reliable, even though it's random. It's very random. And you never go hungry again. Oh goodness, no. So it's a win-win situation, and you get uh, you get uh, you get uh, some XP from it. So Ooh, another name tag. What's that? Oh, tripwire hook. Okay. Oh, I got one of those as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can do some really fun stuff with those. Right? Yeah. Especially because they are, can be triggered by zombies as well, kind of thing. You can actually yeah. make. Um, Make it some sort of trap, you know, and yeah. link, link it to a um, resto now. Make the floor collapse and make them fall into the lava. Or sure, or yeah. Stuff like that is really fun. I like it. But then again, uh, a um, uh, just a, a trigger plate would be easier to use because you have to redo the a trip the trip wire itself after it's triggered. Right. But I found out that it's a really nice way to find out if a, um, a certain area is uh, still haunted by mobs. Mm. Just, you know, put, just make the trip oh, yeah. wire up, get the trip wire up, and um, don't attach any redstone to it. But if the, if the trip wire is broken, you know that yep. somebody can yep. pass, pass by or something. Yeah, then you know. Yep. Use those for um, alchemy as well. Oh, cool! Ow! Oh, and no, no, a water bottle. See, you almost got your first uh, alchemy set ready. Yeah. <laughs> or you could use it like uh, to put wine in for dinner. I like. It goes nicely really. with your bowls, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah with the <laughs> whole dinette set here. Yeah, you just need to fish up a sword and maybe an axe, and you're ready to go. You bet. Medieval style. Nineteen salmon, forty-nine raw fish, seven puffer fish, and one clownfish so far. Yeah, it's, it's, as I said, it, it, it's, it feels really. I definitely know that if if you start on a new survival map and you have a lot of water, a fishing rod is really. You know, making a fishing rod is really worth power. Yeah. Ooh, another soap bar, a trip hook wire. Come on. It's really nice that there are not, not too many of the squids swimming around at this part because if you by accidentally hook one, you it doesn't. You're not fishing, you're just, you know, you just get yeah. uh, the squid hook. <laughs> you're just them. attached. And I made an accident step for you, so if you fall off the platform, you can actually get on the lily pads and back in, instead of having to walk around. You are too kind, thank you. Yeah, I had no real purpose for the lilies at the moment, so I was like, you know, I, I could rather do that. <laughs> and thankfully, being a gnome, it's not too heavy for a lily pad. It's win-win. Hey, kitty. Some fat loops. Just 
just in the water just in front of us. You know, you can't see it, but it's still there, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I expect when you fish up a saddle, you know, that you could actually see it on the bottom here, but. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, the saddle swims towards my hook. It's a special saddle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that you're like, sit, you know, a, a, a nice weekend afternoon, you're sitting at the water, you know, you got your um, fishing rod out, a chair, you know, a, a little bit of a drink. And yeah, yeah. Suddenly you see, a, you see a saddle swimming up to your hook. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfectly fine, kind of thing. Yeah, everything's normal. <laughs> or, uh, you know, you see just another fishing rod swimming up kind of thing. Nobody would expect that. Indeed. <laughs> Not to mention the book. Does it, would it make, like, you know, would the book like make this flapping motion as well when it swims? <laughs> of course. Like the books, the flying books from World of Warcraft kind of thing, you right. know, they, they just yeah. flap around kind of thing. It makes sense. Check what I got. Oh, you got a bone. Yeah. Wow. The fish was so dead, it's only a bone now. <laughs> I want to return my fish, it's way over the over due date. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's a squiddy. Another water bottle. Awesome. I will serve these at the table with the, next to the bowls. Yeah, I just want to say, you actually got the... Uh, you're getting a nice dining set really going. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Well, you can always put it at the dining table in the mansion, so that's at least something. You bet. I must say that well, that was a nice adventure, though. But we that worked it like pros there. Oh man, we we actually we look good. You got an enchanted bow. Yeah, let's see what we have here. Unbreaking three, power three. Not bad. In a way, it was such an anticlimax because we worked at like so systematically yeah. the, that that boss mob kind of thing. Yeah. It didn't even it didn't even attack. It couldn't even attack us. We just sniped it. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know if that's really too, like a disappointment or a good thing that we handled it, like, handled it like that. But yeah. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, but it's a it's a really really nice place to you know to work on when it comes to like um, like a build for building like yeah. enhancing kind of thing you have a really nice base structure actually where you can work, yeah, totally. you can start to work on i mean that that flat roof that you have that is so so big kind of thing so that's it's quite nice actually yeah, yeah oh nice it's not a fishing rod it's just a stick okay well if you put that string I on it you have to fish fished up a stick yeah yeah, it, it kind of is. It swims kind of like a, like an eel, only a little bit more stiff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like a petrified eel. <laughs> Might be fast though in the water. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Like those, um, I think they call darter fish. They're, they're very oh, yeah. very thin and, and small as well. They just they can just pop out all of a sudden, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That might be then how the stick swims. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, the name tag, I can imagine. Do you uh, do you know those... Um, uh, yeah, speaking about the name tag, I just put something Mentioning <laughs> those mending books, how they swim. That's right. You know, they <laughs> maybe it works. Boom, mending book. That would be a big laugh. It's a big laugh. <laughs> um, no, you, you know, yeah, th those, those are like uh, those tiny me shiny metal plates that if and when you throw, like drag them to the water they kind of waddle to attract fish a name oh, tag sure. a name tag yeah. can do that i guess yeah yep yeah. legit I, that was so idiotic when i when i was talking about you know uh, i wanted to say the about tell about the name tag i would swim and just i fished i, I just faced up a name tag yeah i have not gotten a single name tag this entire episode or last episode oh 
Well, I have a few. I got a few, so if you want them. Okay. I should just start saying name tag more frequently. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, it's level 15. And I fished up another saddle. <laughs> How would they swim? I <laughs> <laughs> like, like you know the kind, the, the way they kind of, you know, or on a horse, they, they like, you know, when it's uh, when it's running, kind of thing. Yeah. Do, do, oh yeah, do, that do, makes do, sense. Do, do, do. Yeah. Now a bow, I can imagine that it would like swim more like a ray, kind of thing. You know. Oh, got leather. Mm. I guess that works. Nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> Today on Fishing with Idiots. <laughs> How does a saddle swim? <laughs> you see, this is what fishing makes you do. You start pondering these really deep questions that ultimately have no answer. <laughs> I want to say, uh, I, I want to try something here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there's a puffer fish. I'm going to Google that. All right. How... Does a saddle swim? <laughs> don't, don't try this at home. We're professionals. There's a lot of talk about saddles. There's a lot not answers on how a saddle swims. Can a saddle swim? Full dive, Silver Saddle Swim Club. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And there's a guide on swimming with horses. Let's see here. The pool hours are uh, 11 to 6. You need a membership card. You cannot uh, use abusive language. You can't have a barbecue at the pool. All of this from trying to figure out how saddles swim. <laughs> Imagine if I Google something else while we fix that. Well, I just searched how does a name tag swim. Did not get anything useful. No, I think we're in the deep end of the of, of, of the fishing here. Well, we're, we're beyond pro level <laughs> kind of thing. The deep end. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Nice catch. Are we, are we gonna make fishing puns now? Yes. <laughs> We're oh, going there. Oh! I, I got an Oop. infinity bow. We can merge that with your bow and have a wicked bow. Oh, nice. All right. There you go. Ooh, I fell up here. Let me go put some of this loot into the chest. Don't put too much fish in it. We need a bigger chest. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's full of saddles. <laughs> Wait, 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 I can do that, I can do that. We have a crop, we have a crop. Good, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, kitty. Excuse me, kitty. Yeah, kitty needs to move. Can I, I don't know, if it, I, I don't think this might, no, it's not my kitty, so I can't move it. Can we shove it over? Kitty, move. Not working. Can you lure it with fish? Probably not. I, I think this is te Texas cat. Texas cat, yeah. All right, well, just put a uh, put the chest right there. Where, where you're wait, wait, I have a better idea. I'm a professional. Stand back. <laughs> well, we are fishing in this episode. Yes. Wow. I made it! <laughs> <Ta -da! Wow. laughs> nice job. <laughs> I don't think that's a way to how you should handle your kitty. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Please don't do this at home. <laughs> Dex, Dex, I'm sorry. This was your kitty. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> I was suddenly like, yeah, I can just, you know. Give it a good yank and move it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this episode is now worthwhile. 
Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Especially note for PETA. No kitties will harm you. You can say what you want, but it did work. It sure did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why am I not catching anymore, anything anymore? Got a puffer fish. This lake definitely is not um, overfished or fished out. Now we hey, go. you got a boat. Another fish rod, fishing rod. Oh, rod, okay. Let's see what is it. Oh, unbreaking tree again. Nice. Just wanna, we had more unbreaking ones, right? Yeah. Look in the uh, chest. Yeah, I'm just wanna see if I can if if you have a two with the same. Oh, it removes the enchantment if you try to do that. Ah, uh, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, let's not do that. Then we, we can. We definitely we can, can build make... an anvil out here. Just need to need to need to bring over the iron. I think I have enough iron. I'll show install that at a later point. Yeah, no hurry. Ooh, nice cast. The other day I actually um the the, the, ca the casting is sometimes a little bit awkward, as if you look like almost straight up and then throw instead of like um see it just goes straight ahead kind of thing. Yeah. On, I wanna at least fish up one more proper thing actually. Come on. Oh, it's almost time to go. Exactly. Yeah, alright. We can do this. We should talk about mending books and enchanted bows and, and very high level fishing rods and uh just fished up ten ink sacks. Well you know And no squids were harmed. I just, I just want to say, you know, you know where, where the, the where the squish went pee pee down, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> kitty, don't do that. Hi, kitty. Oh, that's not working. There we go. Well, some some nice bows, definitely some nice rods, and we got at least one book out of it. For sure, I mean. And now I have a set of four bowls. All right. Nice. <laughs> family dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't invite the whole family, though. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. yeah. And and what is for dinner? Well, you have fish, of course. Yeah. Oh, and then another enchanted bow. Ooh. Oh, what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. what, what Power what? four, punch oh, yeah. two, and flame. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, wi wicked, wicked. I'm going to give that to you. So you can actually use your infinity bow, merge it with this one. The, uh, there's an anvil at the bottom of my... If you go back to, um, back via river. Yeah. We, we can do that now, actually. Bye, kitty. Sorry to put you chuck a hook, a hook in your... Uh, Behind kind of thing. All right, let's go. We shall go to a Zianfe. Yeah, th that's why I made that river uh, a little bit. Um, I dug that out so you can actually go all the way by boat. Else you have to go like five blocks over, uh, um, by overland kind of thing. And I was like, yeah, that's not really. Yeah. Handy. Hey, slow, slow, slow down a sec here. Did you hand me that bow? Yes. I seem to have just one bow in my inventory. Did you Power touch? four, punch two, and flame. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one I, got, I actually caught up. Did you put the other one in the chest? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I head back. Go back. Yeah. Best part is here that um, mobs are uh, by the fact that the, how the house is placed, you can actually jump in the front here if you want. 
long as I don't uh, don't force through the, the the infinity bow should be should be there. Done. This here, infinity. Yes, nice. Okay, let's ride. Texas um, the, the airship really casts shadows here on the floor. Oh yeah. Makes squiddy. It's the second time I run into the same squid. <laughs> he likes you. Yeah, I don't know if I like him if he actually if he actually does like that, but yeah. Yeah. and as uh, we go. We go to this tree. And we go all the way to the bottom. And there's a nice anvil for you there in the floor. Oh, handy. Yes. I didn't really had a nice room to put to chuck that um chuck like the enchanting room and uh, the anvil. So I was like, you know, I just make a basement underneath um underneath the um tree basically to have like a some sort of hidden enchantment basement i like it this is so weird <laughs> enchantment cost let's see it, if i do the infinity first it's 18. yes if i do the infinity second it's 10. yeah okay T 10's better Tens better. Yeah, that's what I meant with the. Uh, that, that's what I had when I um, merged the other two. I but if I try to change the name, it goes up to eleven. Hmm. So I'll just keep. I'll just call it though. Nice. There we go. Power four, punch two, flame, and infinity. Ooh. That is a sweet bow. Thank you so much, Chromie. And now you have an arrow, and you'll have infinite, infinite arrows. Perfect. Nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Best that, fishing trip ever. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I say that fishing is so worthwhile. Yeah. So, and with this this ending, uh, now that Pom has a great bow on Final thank everybody for watching. If you like our adventures, please click like and subscribe. See you in the next episode, and bye bye for now. Bye everyone. And Pom is happy. Very. Thank you. This is awesome. <laughs>